How you doing? We're going to do a quick review of uh, the newest A.O. Smith hybrid water heater. This is, I guess, the second generation one. It just came out a little bit ago. I haven't found too much information. As you can see, it doesn't have any of the side vents like the other one had. Now, it has an inlet and outlet on the top. So this one right here is the inlet. This one back here is the outlet where the cold air comes from. And it also has options to connect the water heater on the top before you only had the side option. And actually, I plumbed the house for the old one. So I had my plumbing coming out of the wall on the sides. And these were actually capped from the factory. So you had to take the caps off of here, put the caps up there. And I believe this one also comes with the water shut off valve that I don't believe the other one had. There you can see the little sensor that goes down in there. And then when you put it on the bottom, it has a wiring harness extension that goes down to the shut off valve there. And I uh, just thought I'd get you a video of it running. I put it up to 129 so it would turn on. Uh, first time it turned on yesterday, it did produce quite amount of condensate, but uh, pretty sure once it gets maintained in there, it's not gonna produce so much. But uh, just thought I'd give you a little video of it and uh, show you how loud it is. It sounds kind of like, I don't know, maybe a quiet RV air conditioner when it's running. But I do prefer this setup a lot better because you could duct these much easier. So I'm eventually going to duct the intake up into the small attic space I have. And uh, we'll see how this one does when we put the doors on. Because yesterday when it was running, I mean, this hallway was super, super cold, which was nice. So uh, if it still does that with the doors on, we'll leave it alone. If not, maybe I'll duck it up and over and through this wall there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Supposedly also, this one is more efficient than the old one. I think it's like $20 a year less. You can see the sticker there. And I believe the other one was like 150 or something like that a year. It's not a huge difference. This one I think is two or $300 more initially. But like I said, the fact of uh, having the nicer inlets and outlets on the top and having the option, especially if you're retrofitting um, having those fittings on the top is going to help make it install a lot easier. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're interested in uh, this manifold here, I post a video up above of all the plumbing I did in this house. And uh, that's it for this video.